Conservative New Media viewers, White House watchers, and Sean Spicer watchers, we're here to give you a recap of what happened today in Sean Spicer, who was the White House press secretary, his daily press briefing. For those who can't watch the entire thing, you just want to know kind of what happened. You don't want to miss out on anything. I am Paul F. Villarreal, a.k.a. PFV, of Conservative New Media. I love watching these press conferences, and so do a whole bunch of other people watching these daily press briefings. So we figured if we we're going to watch it, we might as well share with you what happened. We'll ignore some of the stuff, not going to go over every single question. I can tell you that today, 25 questions were asked, and it, the press conference in total, including Spicer's reading statement that he opens with, took about 40 minutes, and the majority of the, the press con press briefing was questions from the press. First thing that was discussed was the staffing of different departments of the Trump administration. The question was, should Donald Trump and his aides have kind of the final say on who should be put into these political appointee positions? And Spicer was basically like, yeah, of course we need to have final say. You don't want to bring somebody in who doesn't believe in the president's vision. And the reporter then suggested, well, it, does that mean you don't trust the cabinet secretaries to, to pick out the people? And Spicer's like, no, it's not that. It's just sometimes there's so many people to hire and to put in these positions. We're kind of helping them do some of the legwork. And, of course, we do want people in these spots who agree with the president. So there is kind of some guidance. And Spicer said, look, it's it's probably what every other administration has ever done also. You don't want to put somebody in who just doesn't agree with the positions of the president. Number two topic, Donald Trump, uh, will he watch the Oscars? That was the question to Sean Spicer. Sean Spicer said there is some type of some kind of ball, some type of uh, party that's happening this weekend. And I guess Melania Trump, the wife of the president, has put in a lot of time into preparing for whatever this ball is. And Spicer said the president is likely to be spending his time at that ball and kind of you know entertaining guests and so forth rather than watching the Oscars. The short version was, yeah, he's probably not going to be watching the Oscars and whatever... Uh, grandstanding or speech making might be going on there about his presidency and the state of politics right now in the United States. Number three, he, Spicer was asked about the president's upcoming speech to Congress, which will take place next Tuesday, I believe, or Wednesday, the 27th or the 20th. I can't remember right now. And what is it going to be about and so on and so forth? Is it going to be optimistic? What kind of vision? Spicer said it's going to be a speech. It's probably going to kind of look forward, going to talk about how the president is an agent of change, what his vision is in terms of things like education, health care, and so forth. And Spicer said it, that Trump's speech is likely to be kind of about what partnerships can be formed in order to get these things done. And a speech will be kind of like a blueprint of where the president wants to take the country. Fourth issue, will Donald Trump, the president, go on kind of a, a tour across the country after he does the speech? This is something that presidents do frequently. They'll make a speech and then they kind of hit the road to sell their ideas to the American public. And Spicer affirmed that, yes, the president will likely be going out on the road in the weeks to come, probably after this speech takes place. So if you uh, maybe there's a chance some of you are going to be able to get to see President Trump speak if he's going to be on the uh, kind of the, the not on the campaign trail, but on the campaign trail to sell these ideas to the American people. Now, if you look at the title of this video, it indicates that Spicer said there will be more executive orders to come in the future from the president. He was asked, was Spicer are you guys kind of, are we kind of hitting a lull in the executive orders? Are you kind of, you wanted to get everything done up front and now that's about it. And, and Spicer said, no, there's going to be plenty more executive orders to come. There's going to be plenty more stuff on the way. Basically, just stay put, but I don't want to talk about it right now ahead of time. 
The sixth issue was, that was discussed was Jonathan Coral asked Spicer about the protest and some of these protests, particularly around Obamacare and the town halls. And basically, he was asking him, do you believe these are fake? Because somebody, either the president or, or maybe uh, uh, Spicer himself, said, look, these aren't all organic. Some of this stuff looks like manufactured outrage. And basically what Spicer said was he thinks it's a hybrid. He thinks it's a combination of true, legitimate gripes and, and, and discomfort from people and constituents of the, the different congressional districts. But he also thinks that some of it is kind of fake. It is manufactured, and there are professional protesters involved in this. I will say personally that that's what I think it is also. I think it is a combination of the two. And he also said, look, there are people who are really concerned about Obamacare, and they have a right to be concerned because things aren't going that great. But we're going to help, meaning the Trump administration is going to help fix it and give the United States American people better health care or health care that will, will stand up better over the test of time than they feel that Obamacare has done so far. Seventh and finally, Spicer was asked about the upcoming trip to Mexico, which I think is getting underway today, from by Secretary Tillerson and Secretary Kelly, who are going to visit and talk with the Mexican government. And Spicer was asked directly, is this a cleanup operation? Meaning, okay, did President Trump kind of screw things up or mess things up in his discussions with the Mexican government? And so you're sending these two cabinet secretaries to go and kind of dust things up and make it uh, make it better. And Spicer denied that. He says he thinks that, that Trump and the Trump administration has a great relationship with the Mexican government. They feel like they're, they have a lot of respect for them. They feel like they're being able to, the two governments, work well together so far. And that was pretty much it. So I think just in, in, from an analytical perspective here, I've only given my opinion on one of these things so far. I just want to say overall, I think that there's starting to be kind of a thawing out between the press and the Trump administration. The first month for the Trump administration, they were under a ton of siege on all this stuff about Russia and protest and and other things. And the first executive order that was discussed and went to the courts. Now it seems like Spicer and others in the administration, including the president himself, are just they're kind of finding their way a little bit. They're kind of getting their groove back if you want to use that expression and uh it just there's there was less contentiousness or argumentativeness in the press briefing today than i thought maybe in some of the other press briefings and i've watched probably about 80 90 percent of the ones that have taken place so far so if you're a fan of the trump administration as we are here at conservative new media this is a good thing the, the can start kind of getting to more of a normalization instead of this ah a panic and outrage and, and whatever the heck was going on and now it's time to get down to business do your thing have the best relationship you can have with the media you don't want to be you don't want to just constantly agitate each other of course there's plenty of the media, in my opinion, that is going to fight Donald Trump every step of the way. But I, like I said, I think there's some normalization and kind of settling in on both the media side and on the Trump administration side. And look, I don't care if you like the Trump administration or not. That's a good thing for the country. We cannot have the president and his administration spending a whole bunch of time fighting with the media because then other things aren't getting done that need to get done so that's pretty much it i don't know if we'll be able to do these regularly i was able to catch it today so i wanted to kind of send this out to people i know that again i know that the, the white house press briefings have become very popular people want to know what president trump and his administration are thinking and on a day-to-day -day basis it's very good to get that information from sean spicer when he does these these aren't done every single day obviously they're not done on the weekends but even during the week they're not done every day i don't think they're done on mondays and 
I don't still don't think they're done on every other of the four remaining days of the week. But that's pretty much what was hit on in this press briefing. That's what the media was talking about. That's what Sean Spicer was asked about. So let me know what you think in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this recap. Uh, like I said, it's it's fun to watch Sean Spicer. <laughs> and he's he's getting better and better to his job. Much as the rest of the administration, I think, is getting... Not only are they settling in after the kind of... Uh, uh, struggle that they've been facing in the first month in terms of would-be scandals and so forth. They're just getting better and adapting to what the job is and what they need to do. I mean, Sean Spicer at first was like, oh boy, is this guy going to last? Is he any good? Can he do this job? Now it's like, yeah, he's got it. He's got control. He's cool. He's doing it. He's getting better and better, much as any employee does when they get more used to the job that they are performing. Okay, take care. We will talk to you again soon. Stay tuned to Conservative New Media. We will be covering the Trump administration very closely with a bunch of reports and analysis and commentary to come. So we'll look for you to be a part of that as well.